channel. This is a hop that is all about hearts and love and all sorts of things. And it is a hop where all of, there's a bunch of us ladies that came together and we are going to hop along and show you tons of different ways of using hearts and like Valentine-ish colors, collections, things like that. So this is the photo I'm going to be using. And this is of my daughter and my good friends, his her son, and they have this love hate relationship. So I am going to turn that particular photo into a little bit of a different type style. So I am using the heart, the heart happy collection from Close to My Heart, that is available for the month of February, and I'm going to use this color, this color these colors here so pretty much it's like these here and I'm going to show you along with this cut file I got this cut file at the November retreat it came from Erica creates through the click kits when she was still part of it so I got that and then it, that's hearts and then here's some epoxy let's see if it'll stick out here better there's poxy hearts there that I'm going to use. And then all of these colors here. This mint, the blue doesn't match, but the pink does. So I may, I'm going to use those. And then I have all of this collection along with the stickers and the stamps and all of that. Oh, and then I pulled these out. So without further ado, I am going to off camera before we come back, I'm going to back this with um, colors as well. And then I will be back. Talk to you soon. Okay, so what I decided to do here now is, is that I put all of the foam tape down and I did all of the colors that were in this collection in the little squares and then left some of it with some acetate and I'm going to make little shaker pockets of the like spots that I left as um, the clear acetate. And what I did was is that I just backed it with regular foam adhesive that I get from Walmart. It's the one that everybody, I guess, gets for the most part. And I just put it down and I glued it and I went and made sure everything looks good. And then the white piece that you see sitting there that's just straight up hearts, that's going to be my back piece to this um, cut file that I turned into... A shaker pocket slash heart slash everything so with this particular video hop it's all about love and heart and we could take that interpretation into any which way and what I decided to do was is that I explained in the video a little bit about my daughter and my good friend son that has this love hate relationship they they play very well together. They do like each other. They do enjoy being in each other's company, but they're both so different that they like each other to the respect that they hate each other because Kaylin, if she's not, or if he's not doing something right, the his her friend, she's literally calling him out on it and he hates it. So there's this love-hate relationship that I absolutely love about it. And I did slow this up so that you can kind of see what I was doing. It, this is only into like two times and then the rest of it speds up. So here's what the cut file looks like. So I did do all of the colors. I got all of the pinks, the blues, the mints, and then the shaker pockets. And I just placed the shaker pockets in certain different spots. It just was kind of random. I just wanted it to look a little bit better. I cleaned up all the excess glue and stuff and if you take a wipey that isn't very wet but you get like little like glue dots or whatever on it because you know you're trying to glue down the pieces if you take a wipey you can clean it off and then it turns that white and it doesn't affect it so there's a close-up of it look how gorgeous that is and okay, so now we're on to the layout and it does speed up just a little bit. So what I decided to do was is to cut this particular one kind of in, I did five inches here and then the other one is about a little under seven-ish inches because I take the navy blue as my background and then I place this down. 
on it so it looks like that so you can kind of see what I'm doing and then of course because it's all about heart based this branding strip for this collection is also got hearts on it and the top piece is about hearts and then the bottom piece I leave it with all the writing where it says love you always you know all those little things and I take the distress and I distress just the outside but I don't distress the middle piece of it because I'm going to place down that one branding strip and I didn't want it to bubble any more than it already is because I am overlaying these two just a little bit to make sure that it is completely covered. I then go in and I pretty much after this I embellish and then it's you know it's easy peasy work it's done. The one thing that was that took the most of the time consuming is backing that heart cut file. That was the most and I did do all of that off camera. If you guys need to see how to back a cut file just let me know. I can link you some of my files. I do show some of it on camera but this particular one I just didn't because I knew the shaker pocket area of what I did was going to take a little bit longer than normal. And there I go. And then that's how I placed it. So I decided to place the hearts down on the bottom. Just nice and even across there. Again, the whole theme of it is to use as many hearts as I possibly could. So I pretty much achieved this. Because one, the cup file is hearts. Everything about this collection of Heart Happy is about hearts. And it worked out perfect. And I don't do much more of the backing. I do put white and pink on my fo photo and that's it. I don't do anything else with it. I wanted it to, I wanted the focal point to be yes, the photo, but more of the hearts, the three hearts with the shaker pocket. And I placed two lollipops that are heart shaped down on the bottom. My, these two kids absolutely love their, love their sweets. And both of the children don't get it all that often, but when they do, they soak it up good. So I was like, the lollipops worked out perfect. And now I had to work on my title. Now my title is going to be love, love, hate relationship, but I needed to find the right thicker. So I had to like turn off the camera because I wasn't going to show you that I kept bouncing back with the colors. So I found these Bella Boulevard, um, thickers that I've had for a long time in my stash and they worked wonderful. The blue and the pink color worked out perfect. So then I get out the modern typewriter alpha stickers that are um, stamps that I have right there and I just spell out relationship. While you're watching me put these down, I want you to make sure you go check out everybody that's in the hop. Everything will be linked down below as well. And just hop along. We all have different themes, styles, you name it, it's all going to be there. So this is going to be an awesome hop for you guys to take in how you can do different styles of layouts that deals with Valentine's that really particular doesn't deal with Valentine. Like my photo was taken a couple days before Thanksgiving. Uh, my friend Dee Dee had my daughter for the week because we have no school and Jeremiah was taking selfies on his phone that he has and there we go and that's where this one came from. And now I'm bringing in my black um, acrylic hearts. The cool thing about the hearts that I get from Close to My Heart, they already have the stickiness on the back. All you gotta do is peel it off so it worked out perfect. And these were black so it brought in that black um, theme just a little bit more just to add another color to this photo or this layout I should say. And then I do get all, all my thread. I decided to organize my craft room just a little bit and I organized my tub of thread because I was tired of pulling out all these threads and everything else so I cleaned them up and put them in little baggies of color. So I've got blues and pinks and greens and purples and etc. So now I just pull out the bags and then I look for the colors that I need. So it works out wonderful. And then I can just put the, the thread back in it and put it in and it's still organized in my little bin that I have. So it works out lovely. So now I'm just rounding out the collection with, or my layout I should say, with all the little extra hearts and doodads and whatever else I can find that has hearts on it. And here is where I put my journaling. I just put it really out there plain and simple that um, the funny thing is is that her son is 
her his nickname is JJ. My daughter's nickname is KJ. So it works out wonderful. But then when we're when these two get at each other, then we're like KJ. K, K, it sounds it's funny. So ultimately, at the end of the day, these two are going to have an amazing relationship. We we joked about it in the beginning that it would be hilarious to see these two actually end up, but really I don't want them to because I know it's just going to be an argument city from day one. So <laughs> I'd rather have them really be good friends and leave it at that. <laughs> um, and now I'm taking out some phone, some dimensionals, and backing up the little bits of hearts stickers that are sticking out, and I have to do it twice because of how thick this particular one is. And I was just shaking it to see. So now I get out my little um, silver glitter enamel dots and place them all over and then I get the hearts out and then it's pretty much done. Of course, all the still shots and everything else is um, coming up. Make sure that you go like and subscribe to everybody's channel. You're gonna get tons of inspiration. Like and subscribe to my channel. I do have something amazing coming up in the month of March that you definitely wanna be sticking around for. And here's my journaling, and then that's pretty much it. I absolutely loved how this heart-filled love-hate relationship um, layout came to came about and I will talk to you soon. Bye!